Empress Dugu was the wife of Emperor Wen, who on account of his love and respect for her, as well as an oath they made while they were young, did not have any concubines for at least most of their marriage, an extreme rarity among Chinese emperors. She also bore him all his ten children. While her dominance, ruthlessness, and exceptional power were undeniable during her husband's reign, she also played a crucial role in assisting him with the governance of the empire. Let's unfold the fascinating story of Empress Dugu. Dugu Kieluo was born in 544 to a noble family in the North and South dynasties, a separate era when kingdoms kept fighting against each other. Her father, Dugu Xin, was a renowned general who rose to prominence and wielded great power due to his exceptional military achievements. In 557, shortly after Western Wei Yi was succeeded by Northern Zhu, Dugu Xin, who was impressed with Yang Jian, the son of his subordinate general, arranged the marriage between him and Dugu Kieluo. She was 13 and he was 16. Shortly thereafter her father was forced to commit suicide after he failed in a big political struggle. When Dugu turned 14, the same year her father died, she and Yang Jian married. Because of her father's departure, Dugu and Yang Jian were demoted and suppressed. They experienced and survived many life and death moments together. But those difficulties brought them closer, they loved, supported, and promised to be each other's only eternal love. Yang Jian swore to Dugu that he would never have any children with any other woman. It was an oath that he would uphold most of the time throughout their long marriage, even when he was crowned emperor. By not having any concubines while his wife was alive was unprecedented in Chinese history. He would become China's monogamous emperor. The couple ended up having five sons and five daughters. In 568, Yang Jian became the Duke of Sui after his father's death, and Dugu Kieluo became Duchess. Duchess Dugu was one of the most honored women at the Northern Zhu court, as her sister was the wife of Emperor Ming, and her daughter, Yang Lihua, was the wife of Emperor Xian. Despite her honored status, however, she was said to be humble. On one occasion, when the erratic Emperor Xian was enraged with Empress Yang and ordered her to commit suicide, Duchess Dugu found out and went into the palace, earnestly begging Emperor Xian's forgiveness. Emperor Xian relented and spared Empress Yang. Soon afterward, Emperor Xian suddenly died and left the throne to his young son Emperor Jing. Yang Jian, who had gained support from some influential officials, assumed the role of regent to govern on behalf of the young emperor. However, Yang Jian faced challenges from powerful clans who resisted his authority and attempted to undermine his position. Encouraged by Dugu, Yang Jian snatched the throne, claimed himself as the new emperor, and named his new empire Sui Dynasty. He took the imperial title of Emperor Wen of Sui, and his wife Dugu became Empress Dugu and their oldest son, Yang Yong, the crown prince, while granting their other children royal titles. Because Emperor Wen did not have any concubines, Empress Dugu became very influential. She was quite studious and knowledgeable. She possessed long-term vision and acted decisively. The emperor respected her and had a lot of confidence in her. Therefore, he often consulted her about important issues of the state and followed her advice. It was hard to tell who came up with state policies during the initial years of the Sui dynasty. The empress had political talents and helped the emperor govern the state in an orderly manner. Because of her influence over her husband, the palace nicknamed the couple, the two emperors. This shows how much the emperor loved and respected her. In 589, China became reunited under the Sui dynasty. They had defeated the other dynasties, and now the only dynasty was the Sui. Empress Dugu was known to be frugal and cut down many expenses. She wore plain, simple clothes, and forbade the palace women from wearing extravagant clothes. Due to her influence, the emperor and the crown prince also began to live a frugal life. However, Empress Dugu was not entirely benevolent, and Emperor Wen was not entirely faithful. 
Some historians have described her to be overly jealous and possessive of the emperor. She closely guarded the emperor's access to women from the back palace, and constantly reminded him about the oath he made to her at the age of 16. However, one day when Empress Dugu fell sick, Emperor Wen started to see a slave, who was a descendant of a rebellious official, and had intimate relations with her. When Empress Dugu discovered about the affair, she had the woman killed out of jealousy. Emperor Wen was so mad at his wife that he got on a horse and rode 20 miles away from the palace, until his ministers caught up with him. They persuaded him to come back to the palace, and Emperor Wen reluctantly agreed. Once he arrived back at the palace, the empress cried and begged for his forgiveness. Once the officials hosted a banquet in their honor, the couple reconciled. Historians also criticize Dugu for changing the heir apparent from their eldest son to their second eldest son, Yang Guang. This would change the course of Chinese history and would bring about the end of the short-lived Sui dynasty. Empress Dugu disliked her eldest son because he had many concubines. In 591, when the crown princess died from an illness, Empress Dugu believed that it was because one of the crown prince's concubines had poisoned her. She blamed the crown prince for the death and convinced Emperor Wen to name Yang Guang crown prince instead. Yang Guang seemed to live frugally and showed Empress Dugu that he loved his wife, which pleased his mother. This was the only way to get to the throne. However, as brilliant as she was, Empress Dugu probably didn't expect that her favorite son Yang Guang in the end, would destroy the prosperous Sui Empire that she and her husband built together. On the 10th of September 602, Empress Dugu died at the age of 50. After her death, Emperor Wen was greatly saddened but had taken two concubines. He died in 604 and was buried with Empress Dugu. Empress Dugu seemed to be a very influential and respected figure. In a time of polygamy, she favored the belief of a monogamous marriage. She saw the creation of Sui dynasty and the reunification of Sui. However, her decisions with the changing of the crown prince would end the Sui dynasty and the beginning of the Tang.